from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Bishop Ivan Camilleri. This Mass is the Sarah Foundation of Canada Card Mass to pray for the recipients of the Memorial and Special Intention Cards. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the generosity of the Sarah Foundation of Canada and Sarah Canada Council, together with all 17 Canadian Sarah Clubs. Sarans are lay Catholics, men and women of all ages and from all walks of life, dedicated to promoting and affirming priestly and religious vocations. An important part of the Sarah Club mission is to pray for vocations to the priesthood, the consecrated religious life, and the permanent diaconate. We thank all who use the Sarah Foundation of Canada Mass Cards and for your ongoing support of vocations. Brothers and sisters, let us begin our Mass today by acknowledging our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to kill sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. Look, on the mountains are the feet of one who brings good tidings, who proclaims peace. Celebrate your festivals, O Judah. Fulfill your vows, for never again shall the wicked invade you. They are utterly cut off. For the Lord is restoring the majesty of Jacob, as well as the majesty of Israel. The ravagers have ravaged them and ruined their branches. Ah, city of bloodshed, utterly deceitful, full of booty, no end to the plunder. The crack of whip and rumble of wheel, galloping horse and bounding chariot. Horsemen charging, flashing sword and glittering spear, piles of dead, heaps of corpses, dead bodies without end. They stumble over the bodies. I will throw filth at you and treat you with contempt and make you a spectacle. Then all who see you will shrink from you and say, Nineveh is devastated. Who will bemoan her? Where shall I seek comforters for you? The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Sweet. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will it give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly, I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear in the opening prayer today uh, the words that um, consolation and contentment come from knowing God and doing good. And that in itself is reassurance for us. And the words we hear in today's gospel of denying ourselves and taking up our cross and following our Lord may on one point feel daunting, but really it's the formula for the contentment in the Christian life of the intentional disciple. It may need a little bit of explaining. We hear the Lord telling us to follow him. How do we follow the Lord? We follow the Lord through the sacramental life. We follow him through our desire to be inquisitive about the faith by listening to his teachings as we find in the gospel and in the magisterial teachings. These guide our senses, they form our imagination. The sacraments make our hearts sensitive to knowing good from wrong. And we follow the Lord in our life in that way guiding our life uh, to the governance that he gives us from our free will, but an informed will. When we look at this, uh, sometimes we may find um, some of the teachings challenging, or sometimes we may find, because of our own nature, in need of patience or generosity or whatever it is within our own nature, um, challenging to really fulfill what the Lord uh, tells us to do. This is the cross we're called to bear. We're not called to to bear the cross that the Lord himself bore for us, but in our life, in little ways, we have our crosses, uh, whether they come from our human disposition or our health or whatever other sources, uh, we, we all have our crosses to bear. And Some of these crosses call us to go beyond ourselves, to look to the other, to the beloved. And this is what the Lord means by um, denying ourselves, to not put ourselves at the center of things, of life, of events, but to look to the beloved, to our neighbor, to our Christian brother and sister, or any brother and sister in the world we encounter, whether they're strangers to us or we know them, We're called to put them first, to put them at the center. And this way, exercise perhaps um, the crosses to be generous and outgoing. In practical ways in our life, this may mean simply smiling at a visitor who comes to see us, to to, uh, give of our time, to give of our talent, to pray for people if we happen to be in a situation when that is all we could do. These are things that the Lord calls us to do, to be truly his disciples. And this is what brings contentment to the Christian heart, to know the Lord, to love him, to want to know more about him, and to exercise the things we learn about how the Lord loves us, how he's generous to us, how he's merciful to us, to nurture that through the sacramental life, and to open ourselves up to others. And in this very way, um, our discipleship brings contentment because we know it has purpose, because we know it's being fruitful, that we are reaching out to those in need. 
And it could be done in very simple ways each and every day in the occasions that we uh, encounter and in the doors that open for us, that the Lord opens for us. So I think we give thanks uh, to the Lord for this um, understanding of uh, what he's asking for us to do in our lives. Uh, he challenges us only to make us better. And he always is there with us to support us in our life and in our dealings and in all the things we do uh, for one another in our Christian life. And so we give thanks to the Lord for that. My dear friends, let us join in prayer this day for the recipients of the Sarah Foundation Memorial and Special Intention Mass gift cards. Today, the Daily TV Mass community and Sarens from across Canada join in prayer to remember all those we hold in our hearts, 
and that we may always know the healing power of Christ the King. For all those in the Daily TV Mass community that have asked to be included in our Prayer Intentions book, especially for families for peace of heart in times of blessing and difficulty, protection for children, and respect for the elderly and the vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. Okay. Lord God of justice and mercy, hear our prayers for the living and the dead. Give our beloved ones who have passed on to your care the reward of their labors and grant your consolation in our loss. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. 
Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death he will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Thanks to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this mass.